Hello and welcome to Silver Crown at Phoenix. It's Old Phoenix. Um, like mid Old Phoenix, I think. Hold on, where's the dog leg? Let me look at it. <laughs> Whatever, it's a 2008 Phoenix, I think is what it is. And uh, I'm excited to have a race in the Silver Crown. I was actually off today, Monday, just did an ARCA race at the ARCA time slot, which fortunately was at Atlanta Super Speedway and uh, went exactly as I expected. So uh, let's do a race where I'm not sure what to expect. <laughs> uh, I never get to race this anymore because of my work hours and the fact that this is a lower participation series. Hello, everybody, everybody. So uh, I can never find Tracy any splits. Y. So I'm happy to be here on Monday when everyone's signed up. One to go. Next time by, line up on the inside. Pit road is closed And right uh, I chose not to qualify. Because uh, just I don't on, have uh, as much comfort in the car. Okay. So I'm going to take it gradual, just kind of get my uh, get used to the car again. So I'm not going to be doing anything too wild. And hopefully we'll have ourselves a good race. Joseph making back in. Looks like he kept getting knocked out. I'm going to go up one on the weight jacker, actually. Um, I was finding that having a little bit of stability was actually helping me out. I think he made it. Um, we got some names we know. Tracy on pole. Uh, lots of guys I know, like, from the K5 Championship now. Like, we got Mitch here in sixth as well. Lots of guys I know just from watching Nick's videos, too, from him doing these time slots. Nick and Gavin's, because uh, Gavin was doing these races, too. So, all kinds of names I recognize from the uh, league or otherwise. Uh, Gavin... And Nick not here. Uh, they stopped to do in the uh, this time slot, but I wanted to jump in uh, regardless. Like I said, I never get to drive this car anymore. And the last time I did <laughs> was uh, not at a great track for it. So hopefully this will be pretty fun. And uh, whew, hopefully. I can over dodge at anything if anything goes wrong right off the start or at any point. And these these races, uh, they're pretty lengthy, 80 laps here at Phoenix, so just gonna let the race come to me. Maybe make some weight jacker adjustments as things go on, depending on how the car feels. I don't know. I'm just look I'm looking to have a nice you know, just consistent, okay, pretty relaxed run. Your... That's what I'm looking for. Let's go. Green flag. Green we flag. are off. Got lots of room around us. Gonna watch ahead. It looks like we got some weird stuff going on. Just keeping an eye ahead of me in case we got any contact. Got to be pretty smooth on the controls in the Silver Crown. Kind of the best way to go about it, it would seem. Guy behind me chose to also not qualify, so I'm uh, assuming he's going to want to be somewhat patient. I'm hoping he's got the same mindset. Kind of want to avoid too much side by side if I can. I just I really need the laps. I need to uh, get used to how this car drives. Maybe take care of the tires a little bit. Eleven's getting squirrely. Just on the default setup, this is an open uh, setup series, but usually the uh, default setup's pretty good, pretty competitive, so not too concerned about that. And so far, so good. Nobody reckon. Get a bit of a run on the six. Not much, though. It's like the... What do you say? 
Outside is clear. Good fight, bitch. He said something that was yeah, going by, but I don't know what he could have said. Outside's working good. Yeah, I'm scared to burn the tires out right now. That's why he wasn't mad at me for passing him. I don't know. Uh, Jeff running up there and I had to try it myself. I think I did it okay. <laughs> but. Got too wide ahead of us. I'll let that resolve itself a little bit. Before I go any further, Silver Crown really does reward patience in a lot of ways, I feel. Longer races, and uh, gotta be more gentle, more gradual with the inputs. It races uh, very uniquely compared to a lot of cars here. Certainly not like a stock car, so. forward a little bit get more comfortable with how this car feels not sure I want to send it in on this guy yet a little slower on exit so I might go for it don't want to send it in on him though I think the 15 might have had a loose moment. Set something up here, maybe. Why is he blocking the inside? Oh, I see. It's because I know who that is. All right. So I'm going to have to expect some blocking, probably. It's all right. Got to know your competitors. You know how to approach it. I kind of like this uh, l uh, higher line. I kind of was doing that in practice. Got that done. Didn't feel like I had to rush it or anything. Tenth place. All right, not much because what? There's like 14 people in here, but I'll take it. Cleaning off my visor a little bit. Got a little bit of gunkus on there. <laughs> So we are able to pull away from the guys behind a little bit, it looks like. Pretty fun to drive. I uh, enjoy having something a little bit different. Especially, you know, late in the season. Done everything. At least once it feels like by now. So it's good to be able to jump into a car I haven't been into in a while. Have some fun. Taking a higher entry here, see how that works out. Should be able to get a good run. I don't think that was very good though. Might uh, put the weight jacker back to zero. Although this thing should theoretically get a little bit lighter. Anyway, as the fuel burns off. The fuel burn is actually a huge part of this car. 
and how it handles. Because uh, the tank holds a lot of fuel and it burns fuel pretty heavy. And so the car, uh, the percentage of the weight of the car is, a lot of it is fuel. So when it burns off, car gets much lighter proportionally. And it can really change how it handles. So that's a pretty interesting, unique part about driving this thing. I'll have to back on the weight checker. Get a little bit more turn in it. I think that could help me out. Yeah, feeling a little bit tight. In fact, we'll go down two. So that way it's actually a, a worthwhile change. We'll see how it feels. Because even though the car is feeling a little bit different, as the uh, fuel burns off, I think the tires are actually getting a little bit less grippy too. So I'm trying to keep ahead of things. My bad, Josh. I just got a little loose with there. No, you was that? Maybe a little contact up ahead. Interesting. Got a little bit tight there. I may be driving in a way that's real bad for the car or something. Like I said, I lack a lot of the experience that other guys will have here, so... Got a lot of learning to do. A lot of the time I ran this car was a while ago now. Alright Colton, that's good consistency. Ugh, feels so tight. It almost looks like we're catching up to this group ahead, though. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I think they might be just bloating up. <laughs> they might be uh, getting closer to one another. It's making it seem like uh, I'm getting closer, but we'll take a look at the uh, relative, see if we're gaining at all. About two seconds. Holding pretty even for now. drive though I can finish 10th near the back and I'll still feel pretty good just because I got to drive it today and uh, if it's cuz I'm just slow then that's it that is what it is that was obviously a bad corner I hit the apron don't need to be doing too much of that I don't know what the optimal line is or anything That's like we're catching up. Hmm. Highline right. didn't really work how I wanted. We're good, just some zero works. No cost, I'm going, you got no damage anyway. I don't either, I don't think. We're good. So the Eleven's been reeling me in. I'll let him go when he gets to me, because he's clearly been faster for a while now. Slowly making his way forward. Don't need to slow him down on his march to the front. I had a good corner there, though. I think I've been sh being a little too shallow. I think it's good better to get like these longer... Uh, Cut downs, that was too much though. I'm more talking about here in turn one. Being able to cut down late corner, I think, is much better than what I have been doing. Uh oh 
Why are you on the racing line going zero miles an hour? <laughs> okay, Colton, the next car is Elmore. I didn't realize there were two people with the last name Elmore. Maybe the other guy wasn't the guy I was thinking of. I didn't realize there were two people. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to remember from what I've seen from Nick's races. I oh, don't want to falsely call anyone out for uh, being a dangerous driver. Guy okay, really wants to get by me on the high side. I will let him do it, like I said. Car outside. Outside, clear. Go ahead, brown car. Might put the weight jacker back. Is it starting to feel that little bit of wobbliness again that I'm not so big a fan of? Which is affecting my ability to get on the gas on exit. I think as more fuel has burned off of this thing, let's get more of that unsteadiness. So, yeah, that's much better being able to get that drive off. I like that much more. You won't see me make a car tighter on purpose very often, but here I think it's a good, it's good for me anyway. In a car I'm less ex less experienced with. Getting kind of loose on exit though. Levin's moving. You match your race pace. Lots of time for this to shake out. Like to that little bit of a lower line I ran there. That, was our that worked out pretty well. Uh oh, someone's got damage, something going on. Just past somebody. I can't really look, see who it is right now. I can buy a guy right at the moment. Guess we've passed the 11 once more. I thought he was going to keep marching forward, but... Got around him again. P9, that's not too bad. Feeling pretty fast at the moment. I love how much this car evolves over a run. It changes so frequently and you really have to keep on your toes. And I like that, it, can, it makes a lot of comers and goers. Through the field, it keeps the racing very dynamic. I enjoy it a lot. Car in front of us is. Oh, sorry. The uh, whoever shit their pants there off to my uh, the wire on the wheel came loose out of nowhere. That's not good. Okay, it's really off the pace on exit. All of a sudden. That was a 26.3. Do I have permission to join back into this battle? I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, that must have been Josh that uh, 
had trouble. And it's now going a lap down. Can we make the pass? Outside, clear. He's doing his darndest to not let me, but we look we look like we got there. Alright. P8. Got a little tight there. We're okay. Getting pretty intense, and we're just over halfway. I'm trying to decide how I feel about the car right now. It's kind of tight, but it's also just getting pretty loose on exit, which is making me have to. It's making me hesitate to try to do anything with the weight jacker. Uh oh, someone just spawned anything. Or just got loose. Okay, we, we make a pass there. Car inside. Clear. Another pass, maybe? Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Six. You've just done a 26.4. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear. That's them on the outside. All right. Wait. I'm driving in a little deeper into turn one. And then getting that turn down on exit. I'm liking that how that's going right now. Great race so far, by the way, no cautions. Sorry, Wes. Yeah, all good. Outside. Clear outside twenty six point two. Just barely got there. I think I want to be on the outside for a pass, though. Tracy right ahead of us, the number one. We're the number four in this race. It was a pretty good strength of field. Got lots of good racers in here. Lots of high, uh, high ratings. Ooh, it's getting pretty loose on exit. Oh, we got lap traffic? Alright. Not sure who that was or what was going on. <laughs> Ooh, that, that loose on exit is making me pretty nervous.
That lap was at 26.2. Sixth place, fighting for fifth, kind of fighting. Not really too much faster than Tracy right now, I don't think. Hands are hurting a bit, holding the wheel tight. Extra nervous being a car I'm not as familiar with. Makes me squeeze the wheel just a tiny bit more. Intense. Very fun though so far. Love to be in this car. Still got a little bit of pressure behind Laura back there. I also recognize her from Nick's races in this car. Oof. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> got loose. My bad, go on. You're good. Give him a little bit of space. That's all right. I'm getting that same feeling on exit there. We're all pretty close to the same speed in this top six, seven Thank area. You. Put it in the wall. I gotta be careful. That lap time was 26.3. Ooh, they did not turn very well there. Trying to figure out what the car wants to do. It's getting tough to drive at this point. Oh, it's Tracy and Mitch in front of us. That's funny. It's like we're in a the K5 championship right now. Oh no! Inside. Tracy got in the back of him. Still there. You're up top three wide. Inside. Two wide. Still there. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. <laughs> Inside. That got weird. And in the end, I don't think anything changed. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Oh, pushed up a little bit. Outside. Clear. I cannot get around him. You've just done a 
outside. Stay low. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Car outside. <laughs> We're having a great race, but holy cow. Car outside. Clear. Outside. Outside is clear. <laughs> I can't get it done, man. I think Laura is much faster right now. Just looking at the run she's getting mid corner, she might be going past us here in a little bit. Not sure. Oh, Mitch. Car outside. Outside, oh. clear. Gosh. That was crazy. You're in fifth. Well, we're in fifth. I almost took out Tracy there, but <laughs> we've both been racing hard, so I hope that's uh, not too awful. I'm going to try passing him on the outside if I try it again. That might be the way to do it. I just, I feel like I can't get it done on the inside. Oh, it drives in hard. <laughs> I can't get by him, man. I thought maybe he got loose for a second. He didn't lose much momentum, though. Mm. Now it's getting really loose on exit. I don't know what's going on with this car, man. Imagine it's got to be hard to make setups for this track with every corner completely different pretty much. Got to do something with this. I didn't have to. I didn't even get there. Felt like I was going faster than I was. Man. Outside. Keep low. Clear. Car outside. Clear. Car outside. Oh, I got loose! Dang it, man. Outside. Still there, hold your line. 
I just I really tried to get past him, I just couldn't do it. Probably the same thing that happened to uh Oh same thing that happened to Mitch earlier, I bet. Something similar. Trying to make a pass, got loose. At least I uh, didn't crash it. Car doesn't feel so good no more. <laughs> well, that was at 26.4. That car behind us, so hopefully he won't pressure us too much. Five to go. Lots of turn, lots of turn, too much turn. They were getting too much turn. Stay high, get the car on the low side. Catch up here. Still inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear, P7. I got tied almost into the wall. That was sketchy. Oh my gosh, this is so much more intense than I expected. I was expecting casual drive, but man, it is uh, an actual handful I'm trying to keep this thing from wrecking. What flag this time? I was gonna do a cut down. Good one. Ooh. In the seventh place. Wow, that was crazy. Great job. You did really well. Yeah, awesome. Great special train. Everything you're doing with me fucking up there. Sorry to change, but. Wow, we. Did Matt and me not? I don't think I was going to have anything for Derek, and I definitely wasn't going to have anything for Jeff. Wow, I need to take a second to breathe. That was crazy. Yeah, I just want to apologize to him because there were a couple times I pushed up I a little bit. I tried to learn from you, James, by uh, doing the outside pass, but I couldn't make it work like you. <laughs> there was a couple times I got a little bit tight. A couple times there I got real loose. Yeah. So, uh, I just want to send him a good race. Rip off of the, Specifically of the for him, too, because uh, be I messed up a time or two. Ooh, set shared, you say? You might have to take a look at that. Uh, 88, 88. So I guess that's even. I don't know if that's good or not. Apparently, <laughs> apparently not. So everybody else is on their right rear. All right, cool. I was worried I was being a little bit too aggressive, but I was having a lot of fun. <laughs> so definitely ended up being a lot more uh, intense than I expected. I really got into it and was pushing pretty darn hard after I said I was going to be uh, taking it kind of easy. 
But uh, that's because I was having fun. Thankfully, we uh, finished it off 0x. Completely caution-free race, which was totally awesome. So I'm glad we got a good one here. Um, seventh place. So basically just mid, mid middle of the field. But as the four car and a 3.8 strength of field, that's not too bad. We moved forward. I mean, we didn't qualify, so that's not too surprising. Uh, if I'm going to finish next to guys like Mitch and stuff, I'm A-OK -okay with that. Plus, uh, I, I could have had a couple more spots, maybe, if I hadn't uh, had that one big loose moment. So, I'm, uh, I'm okay with how that went. So, we will go ahead and see what did happen, but it's not going to be very much, I don't think. It's a very good thing. I used to have a paint for this car, and then it's not there anymore, so I don't know what happened with that. I used to have a uh, Chewy.com car, I think. Or Petco? No, it's Chewy, I think. Now, the, I have my Formula V is the Chewy.com. I think uh, this one used to be like a PetSmart or something. But now it's gray, so I guess I'm going to have to find a new one. But uh, lap 24 is the first thing we got. I think this was... Uh, ooh. Is that Mitch just in the wall a little bit? Thankfully, nothing happened there. It's a little bit off the wall. Make some contact. I put him in a bad spot. We caught up to him, I remember that. Got a little bit of blinking going on, scaring the seven there. What happened here? He blinked out. That was all good, just racing stuff. Not a problem. It's almost like he got loose or something while he was blinking out. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was having some sort of issue. Not even just network, maybe like computer issue or something, and that's why he had to slow down and do that. Yeah, that looks like maybe he's having like some sort of visual issue or something. I don't know, that's weird. Thankfully that didn't turn into anything. Oh, wow, Mitch got the wall good. That's what... uh Put him back a little bit. I wonder if that damage was affecting him much. And that's all. So, a very clean Silver Crown race. I'm really glad that I got some uh, classic Silver Crown here. Because uh, this is what the series used to be known for. Is clean racing. Um, you know, long green runs. And uh, we got that today. So I'm very happy. I'm glad I got a good experience here. Because uh, it doesn't always turn out that way anymore, it seems like. Of course... Nick and Gavin stopped running it. Nick, because guys were wrecking him on purpose. Hey Brian, so. you going to show up for the early race tomorrow or the later? Uh, anyway, that'll do it. Uh, I'm very happy with that out. run. So uh, I will go ahead and see you later. I hope you enjoyed some Silver Crown action. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.